Hi you all, it's Signa from Sign of Horses and I have a slightly different vlog for you today. I hope you don't mind. Um, actually, I hope you really, really like it. <laughs> As you might or might not know, I like to be creative. I did art school when I was younger and I like to draw or keep a journal. Uh, I sew, I knit, I, actually anything I can get my hands on I'd like to try out. About time to share with you a vlog on how I draw horses. Not too much of a tutorial because there are hundreds of tutorials you can find on YouTube. So let's just get this video started. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone and um, I have to give some credit to this new YouTube channel uh, that I've been following called Drawing with Waffles. She has greatly inspired me to do a, well, DIY video, I guess, on how to draw horses. I'm not the best uh, horse drawer, drawer of horses, horse artist in the world. But I would like to share what I know of drawing horses with you all. So grab your paper, grab your tools. So this is a lovely Palomino Blackwing pencil with a pretty much used up eraser on the end. And this is the invention of the year. If you ask me, it's an eraser pencil. So you can really erase nice details. And this is a kneading knead eraser, which is just this lovely gooey, gunky, yum, yum, yum. you can, I guess you could knead a horse from there. Yeah, well, okay. Mm. <laughs> That's more like a duck. Yeah. So let's get started. Drawing horses is, can be quite daunting. Um, if you are a perfectionist like me, you're never going to be satisfied with the results. You might have seen some of my drawings on uh, Instagram. This one I didn't like and then I redid it and now I kind of like it. Uh, I'm, mostly I sketch the costumes and the things I want to make. But now we're on this lovely blank page. And I will try to show you how I draw horses. So, for me, a horse consists out of the head. I use a circle, I use two circles. One for the uh, top of the head and one for the nose. And then the shoulder area and then the bum which is a slightly smaller circle than the shoulder area. And from here you generally have the shape of the horse set out and you can draw in the legs and I'm just gonna do it standing up. So that's the knee joint and that's the hock joint. Uh, I think you call it hocks in English. Um, that's the back leg. Now, if you connect these lines with each other, A head shape will appear and then connect this where the mane goes and this is its neck and throat. Connect that to each other, connect this at the back and this is going to be, you can see I'm making a slight indent here so you have the rib cage and the rest of the horse. Is your general horse image I guess. Another way to draw a horse is to do it to um, figure out the negative space. So if I have a square and I want to draw a horse I think of whatever is around the horse. Considering that its hooves are going to be on the ground and its head is going to be straight up onto the edges of this square 
I draw out the, um, the line of his nose. I know that there's room between his legs. That sort of looks like that. And I know there is a neckline and a body line like that. So this is all the negative space. So if you squint your eyes and look at your horse and try to put him in a frame, then you'll see all this negative space appear. And you're gonna need another leg up there, and then you're gonna go to the neck, and then that's, so this is all negative space as well. And you kind of get the silhouette, silhouette, and from there you can start out sketching again and refining those lines into more uh, shapely lines. Um, this method for me works a lot better if you have a living model, which I don't have because I'm sitting in my home. But it really helps when you're in the field on a summer's day and you want to draw, that you have this, you have maybe make a little paper frame and try to frame your horse in there and hold it up to wherever your horse is, um, is maybe uh, grazing, like that. Okay. And then frame him in like that and then you can really see the negative spaces and you try to draw the shape of the negative space that helps to really see the lines and not see what you're creating so you don't get stuck on the details too much and you get a true image of your horse on the canvas these two methods you can interchange and you can use them for any drawing situation that you might like. I hope this helps. Now what I want to do today to make this kind of like a fun, more fun video is make a drawing of a horse and use Pinterest as a reference. So I have my tablet here, it's on. So I have opened my Pinterest page on my tablet and I'm gonna drop in searches in the search bar like uh, horse and then select uh, the first image <laughs> like that little Shetland pony. So when I type in horse I get this really large looking type of horse here huge fella huge i'm gonna draw him and then we're going to give him some tack and a, a color and markings just by using the search bar on pinterest see all the negative space here by the way so you could just follow these lines draw these lines yeah and that one this is a really good example mm -hmm. let's go There we go, and then I think, well, we'll leave the mane and stuff like that for later to fill in. I think I made his head a little too small, but, and his body is not long enough because I ran out of paper. And maybe it's because I'm used to seeing bliss that <laughs> I tend to kind of draw short horses all the time. Um, but I like it so far. So I want to add stuff to him. If we search horse markings, we get all kinds of nice looking horses. And the first, oops, stay up straight. And the first image is actually this chappy here. She has got funky markings. That one has got funky markings as well. But oh, stay up straight, please. But we're following the first picture, and it's like this funky mask and a blue eye. I like that. 
guessing that this is what it looks like. Kind of. And he's got really high white booty legs, so I'm guesstimating that he has that on his hind as well. So I can't figure out any other markings actually from that. So we'll do the legs, we'll use the legs and the facial marking. And then we'll just do a search on horse colors. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. We get this picture first and I know that picture from uh, Instagram. It's an Icelandic horse and it's the cover of the latest bit magazine. Maybe that's why this search comes up first. But it's just, whoa, stop doing that, stop it. That's a dark brownish horse with light colored mane. Hmm. Yep, so we has to help, we'll color him in dark brown and then have him have him have light colored fluffy mane like that. <laughs> like Icelandic mane. <laughs> I don't know. No, hang on. Let's let's do a different search here. Horse mane. Darn it. Now I just get this Frisian mane. What can I do with this Frisian mane? Okay, we'll use the Frisian mane. That's my first search. I have to keep to my own rules. Just really long and curly and so boring. I think Frisian horses are boring. I'm sorry. It's because we have so many of them here in Friesland. And I've, I just, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of Frisian horses. Sorry to all people who own Frisian horses and love Frisian horses. I like their individual characters. Just overall the build and the, especially with the long mane going everywhere, it's just, oh, it's boring. So he has his long curly mane. Let's make it really long, let's exaggerate it while we're at it and just have the, his forelock just dripping over his face like that. And then we have, um, I feel really happy now when I'm sticking to my own rules. Liz used to have his mane in long and in braids all the time. Off because um, he was in a field with youngsters with foals or one year olds and they chewed on his mane and then it got really thin and scrappy scrappy looking so I cut them off and that was like 12 years ago <laughs> um, should I do the Frisian tail hang on we'll do another search yes horse tail Oh. <laughs> Weird picture. Um, we'll do we'll do this one with the little uh, again a Frisian horse. What is this with the Frisian horses? A braided tail, halfway braided tail with a flowery thingy on it. Braided, braided, braided. This game. This is fun. Next up, what shall we do next? Looky looky here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we could do some tack. Yes. Yep. Just a oh look, it's Peter. That is another Instagrammer's horse. <laughs> yep. But we've got a generic looking saddle that's like a jumping saddle, I guess. So we'll draw that in and then we'll, we'll do another search for the saddle pad. So we just do follow the saddle. Um, oh, I've played by the rules so far, but that is quite a boring pink saddle pad and look at that saddle pad that is really making me happy look at that one and look at the close up whoops okay i'm not obeying my rules anymore i'm digressing from my own rules and i guess maybe i oops oh there it is 
Oh, look, now it's the first search. <laughs> Cheated on that. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I moved it up top. Yeah, so I kind of broke my rules and broke Pinterest as well. But I'm going to do that subtle pair, definitely. So I get one rule breaking moment. I followed the breed, I followed the color, I followed the markings, funky mark, I followed the Frisian main thing, I followed the awkward bleh, saddle. Breaking the rules with the saddle pad. I'm done. Now for the inking. We go oh, <laughs> ugly. I like the sketch, and then the end drawing, and the uh, as soon as I start inking it, it kind of loses that sketchy feeling. <sighs> drawing is a lot like horse riding. It getting the feeling of training your horse and going towards the end result uh, can be much more fun and enjoyable than the actual end result which is never going to be perfect so let's ditch perf perfection altogether and stick with learning as we go on um anyway let's get back to um finishing this drawing yep zoom out again for you zoomy noises Yep, let's get my colors out so we can start coloring this in. one funky looking horse right on the edge of the paper I'm sorry yeah zoom out yeah I hope you like this drawing it was a lot of fun to have Pinterest decide uh, on how to decorate my pony. So thanks Drawing with Waffles for that bit of inspiration. She did it with humans, I did it with a horse. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe. And there maybe, I don't know where it is, the little, there, subscribe button, there, there. That little running horse there, yep. Click that to subscribe. And whether you are wielding a sword or an axe or a coloring pencil, release your inner breaking! Yay! I will see you next time. Bye. I have something for you on my brand spanking new website. It's called releaseyourinnerviking.com. There's a special page, especially for you, my YouTube watches, with downloadables, where I have some coloring book pages that you can download and color in yourself. You can only get to by a magic link right below this video. Only you guys know that this link exists for now.